I'm on site. Back to hip hop. Back to the hip hop. Back to the hope. Um, I wanted to, you know what? I wanted to make a video about the diss track that re was released about um Zynga. You guys know Zynga. Um, used to be a very very popular artist back in his time with um Tear Gas and Ko and all of that. He had his own buzz. Da da da. Now he's retired. He's doing podcasting and music stuff. Um, yeah. So he had some tiff with um. Another rapper from, I think it's from Pretoria, um, Luno Farentino on Twitter. So they had a tiff about regarding AK, um, psh, regarding Drake's um, response, this track response to Kendrick. So they were chatting it up, blah, 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 blah. feelings got hurt, niggas got touched. Blah, blah, blah. The next day, uh, Luno Farentino then drops a diss track um, to Zynga. <laughs> Lord of the crop tops. <laughs> I won't lie, it's fire, it's fire. Obviously, I can't play it because um he uses he uses Drake's beat. Um I don't know which I forgot the name of the beat he uses, so we can't play it because of copyright. But go listen to it. Luna Frentino, it's Zynga this track. I don't know the name of this track, but just go. It's called yeah, it's called Chopped. Chopped. Yeah, yeah, really dope. Um listen to it. So anyway, fast forward. Now we're gonna um get the response to Zynga, because obviously nigga got dissed. Now he's gonna give out his response about what happened, how he felt. Is he touched? Is he not touched? Um, let's see what's happening. Okay, 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 okay. So yeah, this is um chopping it up with Buddha T Zinga. And he's gonna tell us about how it feels to get dissed. <laughs> well he's gonna say the whole story as well about how it happened, the Twitter and Twitter, all of that as well. So yeah, let's take a listen. From what I'm listening to, and from my knowledge, what I know, and the work I'm seeing, Drizzy do on there, he of, that is absolutely fire. It's fire for sure. And so my response to him, which was harsh, I will admit. <laughs> <laughs> I will admit. Yeah, it was a bit harsh, but the crux of it was, I was like, because for me, when a rapper says that, it's like, okay, but... What do you have? And if if the level that Drake is rapping at on this, if you don't find the level that Drake is rapping at on this song, Fire, Fire. then what do you think of your own shit? And that's what I meant by, which is why I'm like, that's harsh. That's a harsh way to, you know. Mm -hmm. So just for context, um, so Luna Frantino had gone onto Twitter to give his take on the Drake uh, diss track. He said he really wasn't feeling it. He didn't think it was fire like that. Um, so he said, uh, niggas really think this shit is um, this shit is dope, shit is whatever. And then Burati Zynga responded to say, um, don't make us compare your pen to Drake's pen because you're not like that. And then now he's explaining what he's trying to say. So, <laughs> and I, I mean, I understand what he's saying. You know, I understand what he's saying. That if you don't think Drake is fire, what do you think of your own? Because obviously you're not on Drake's level. Everyone wants to be on Drake's level. But if you don't think Drake is fire, then how do you think of yourself? Which I mean, ugh, dude, you don't have to think that Drake is fire for you to think that yourself is also. It's just like, so I understand where it's coming from, but it's interesting. Let's let's continue. Response no, the yeah. truth is, is is harsh, man. So it comes <laughs> like because that's just questioning. Yeah, it's yeah. like because it it leaves with, with that question. It's like then what do you think of your own shit? Because you're. I mean, respectfully, <laughs> you're not on the Drizzy level pen. Yeah, for sure. So if you're blazedly coming out on the net saying, come on, that shit wasn't fire. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's like, then so do you find any of your own shit fire? And for me, another thing that people miss with that is that this is not like a person who doesn't rap, right? Mm -hmm. So the engagement of questioning Drizzy can go further because you understand, I guess, lyricism and mm. what it takes yeah. to put together this. Yeah. So that's why you can ask. It's not like you're asking a stranger, it's okay, where now, okay, where are your bars? You're asking someone who actually raps and say, okay, if you can grade Drizzy low on this level, mm. like... We would have to compare your pen to trees also to just understand your taste of what fire is to you where would you rate like what like how is this not fire lyrically like if we just okay. talk yeah, lyric and for me it wasn't even a personal a bit with that engagement so you can hmm. actually talk about it. <laughs> 
so he can actually talk about the diss track um, and what he thought of it. So. Gage the diss track. I don't, I don't think you're out of pocket for asking that. Maybe because it's in the heat of the moment, then Gage invited himself to the conversation. Which we're also going to have to address when we're talking about the trees. That fire. Yeah. You, well done, big dog. And that's the most fire I've heard him, personally. I think this is... Yeah. I've never really heard him before that. <laughs> Yeah, Zinga's salty, man. Zinga's so salty. Like, I, I heard the TikTok joint that he did. The, what was the... I think it was a cooking song. I think he's a chef. Is he a chef? I have no idea. I'd be lying. I don't but know. He's definitely a chef because he cooked you, bro. He cooked you, Zinga. <laughs> I, I once heard him on DJ Switch's um, joint. Yeah, I yeah. think also from the... Because I've, I've been a Pitori brew, you know, on the highest. So I mm. think... I got to hear a few things from 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 that end. Yeah, you know, I don't. I wasn't really catching. I saw on the a main thing he t- he posted because he does like this TikTok, which I thought was cool. So that's the shit I was seeing. He does this uh, TikTok shit where he says "Eda Mafura, Fala Mafura" or some 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 like that. As a Rustenburg man. Yeah. That's what I saw. So that's the only thing I seen before. So I heard him rap. Definitely. Did his thing. Did his thing for sure. I now the streets want me to respond. <laughs> respond, Zinga. <laughs> respond, Zingy Zing. Lord of the crop tops. <laughs> <laughs> think about it. I don't think you should. Like, like I said, let's um, be for real. Yeah, I don't think you should. <laughs> I understand the excitement, <laughs> yeah. but let's be for real. Okay. Tell me why you don't think I should. The same reason Blackie shouldn't entertain Smaman. He's a hot man. You're a hot man to him. Mm. You know, he even said that on the song. He's showing he, love yeah, also he, on the song. He even acknowledged that you are his elder. Mm. You, you know what I mean? So you could have picked up the phone and called him. So mm. I don't think it should, you should, you should respond. You know, it's, it's, you know the nasty and the Reese and 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 the blackies can get on mm. each other's throat, but mm. they shouldn't um do it with Maman, you know, because yeah, they yeah, should fight. It's it's a mix mess. amongst the peers, yeah. amongst the peers, the same fight thing. in your tears, you know. Don't don't because you're just gonna give the nigga clout, you know. If you just if you and that's what they want, bro. Everybody wants to diss Zinga, bro. Everybody wants to diss the time. Everyone wants to diss Drake because you know you're gonna get in games, you're gonna get conversation, and get clout, you're gonna get. You know, everything's going to spike up. So, hence why Rick Ross has inserted himself in, in this beef. <laughs> you know, he's literally, like, stolen the spotlight from Kendrick. Because he knows Drake is huge. Shit is going to go viral. You'll see. In the next in the next month or so, niggas going to drop an album or so, you know? I think that's happening with the Drakes and the Coles and the Kendricks. Mm. It's fine. Yeah, the other little niggas can't then try and come in to that fight. And, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? That that that's my reasoning why you shouldn't respond. I think my thing is pretty simple. Though. I just don't think it's worth coming out of retirement for. I mean, respectfully, like I just <laughs> respectfully, <laughs> respectfully. Yeah. So Zinger is, is actually re- retired. Is a retired rapper. I just don't think <laughs> respectfully. Like I get it. Everyone's highest the Drizzy it. Juice, the Kendrick. <laughs> yeah. I get it because it's happening internationally. Yeah, all yeah. the beef and the rap. We want it down. But, like think about but it. But it's so. like let's be for real. Imagine also, when you look back. Like, like in my context, just in my life context, do you understand how big a decision retirement is? Like that's a very big decision to make. Like for something that I did my whole life. Like I'm I'm a rapper my whole life. Then I get to a point where I say, okay, I'm putting my pen down. And I put it down. Yeah. That's a big personal decision. Thanks. And that's this a- is not what's gonna make me pick the pen back up. Yeah. <laughs> and that's a plus for him. He's gonna he like the bragging rights I brought him out of retirement. Facts, facts, yeah. No. They're right, man. They, they do got some points. But hey, for me, it's hip hop, bro. If a nigga's going to diss you, you'd be quiet. For me, that f- it feels like, you know, the person want the beef. Luda want the beef. If, regardless of what your reason is, ah, I'm retired. Oh, you're not with my energy. Whatever. If you don't respond, you're disqualified pretty much, you know, from the beef. You're out. If a nigga calls you out, he drops a diss track review. Mind you, that's not half bad. Like, I won't lie. The nigga came. Luda the crop tops. <laughs> hilarious hilarious so 
You know, if Zinger is saying he's not going to respond because it's not worth his time, he's not worth coming out of retirement, that's fine. That's fine, really. But you got to accept the verdict as well. It means you're disqualified. It means you lost. It means Luna won. Shout out to Luna Farentino. Uh, but yeah, that's the that was the story. You guys can go watch the full interview. Not the full chop, the full conversation is really dope. Shout out to Buddha T, Buddha T, Buddha Zinga, and his crew. And yeah, um, shout out to hip hop, man. It's the pop. It's too much, too much beef going on. But yeah. Well, well.